Happy Craftmas! Today I'm going to be finishing a couple of cross stitch pieces into ornaments. I started a holiday tradition of spending my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day doing little holiday cross stitch pieces while watching my holiday movies. Last year I finished two of them. You may have seen this one before if you have ever been on my community page. I did post photos of this one last year when I finished it and it comes from this book right here. This is Canterbury Designs, a Christmas medley and it is from 1985. So we have my little 1985 Bear in Sleigh. And this one is called Santa's Express. It is from the New Berlin Company Holiday Trimmings. 18 festive ornaments using star bright frames. Oh, I don't have star bright frames. Hmm, I should look those up. And this is from 1993 and it is time to finish them into ornaments. For that purpose, I have two methods that I'm going to try out. Method number one, a simple holiday ornament frame. I believe these are all vintage. I have been collecting them every time I see them at a thrift store for the past year. Most of these are gonna be too small for the pieces that I have, but hopefully one of them will work. And then for the other method, we're going to be doing a simple fabric-backed ornament, but the fun part is that I have instructions for it in this book. This is better homes and gardens, Christmas joys to craft and stitch. It is also from 1985. I'm going to have a decision to make about which piece to do in which method. First thing I need to do is just go through all of my frames to see which ones are big enough for either of these pieces and then that might help me make my decision about which one to put in the frame and which one will work better as the fabric backed ornament. I did go through my fabric stash and I pulled all of my holiday or holiday adjacent fabrics which really really was not very many. I've got a couple things to choose from. I do have one very special, very precious vintage fabric. There's a couple of contemporary ones and another one that I think this one's probably from the 90s. Let's get to it and get these ornaments made even though I still don't have a tree and don't know that I will have one because Toby has not yet matured enough to not chew on it. We're gonna finish these finished objects into finished finished objects. Yes. So close. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with framing this and doing fabric on this. There are two main points of contention. Firstly, this calls for lace around the edge. All I have is eyelet. I don't think it really works with the train. So I went through my stash. I have some grow green ribbon, which would just be tricky around any corners. And here's the other point is the shape. I was racking my brain for some other shape I can use. And finally it occurred to me that this vintage glass has a really fun shape around the rim. I used ordinary craft felt for this. I don't recommend it with this turning method. It was very hard to turn and it's not poofy enough. I did a stay stitch around the edge of each to secure the weave of the Ada when cutting and to thread mark the final position. For the framed ornament, I need to cut it down and put in a gathering stitch. For the fabric backed one, I'll need to make a bit of a sandwich and sew it together with an opening for turning. I pulled out this leftover last year for my calico ornament and I still have enough for a few more ornaments. So we're gonna use that for the hanger. This is going to be a pain and I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I think I'm going to have to baste it in place first. This ribbon is not up for this task. I really don't have anything else that I can use here. going to stitch as close to the edge of this as possible. We need to put the hanger at the top with the knot going that way and then the back and then the 
padding. Stitch that closed by hand, though my grain ribbon has not fared well. I think I might be able to salvage it by hand. I mean, actually, yeah, if I get a little fray check on that, I think it will be fine in the long term. Since this Ada is so stiff, I ironed the gathers in place. These frames are made so you can just snap them right in place, but the gathers are too bulky for the cardboard to fit behind them. I could just cut it to size, but I'm not really ready to do that, so I think I'm going to find something to cover it with. Since we've got our fabric tucks on that side and on that side, so I'm just gonna stick that there to help even this out just a little. You know what I like about this bear is he kind of looks like a Wookiee. He does. Tell me he doesn't look like a little baby Wookiee. He's so cute. Thank you so much for joining me today. I didn't exactly do the best job of finishing these ornaments, but you know, it was great practice. I learned a lot and I think I know what to do better next year. As for Craftmas 2023, we are not quite done yet. Next time, I have a little bit of sewing to do before I get into the kitchen for some holiday baking. I hope you will join me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you there. Bye.